everybody, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are making DIY dishwasher pods. So typically we'll do our dishwasher powder and just add some baking soda into it to do a thieves hack for the Young Living dishwasher powder. Um, but today we are doing just the opposite. We're going to add a little bit of extra and make the pods, which is super amazing. So um, we have our already pre-measured one cup of the Thieves dishwasher powder. Um, it does say do one bag, but it does make, create such a large amount um, that we didn't want to um, overpower it. Power it. So the next thing we're doing is a half a cup of baking soda. So basically I'm cutting the recipe in half. So whole recipe, one whole bag of the dishwasher powder, a cup of baking soda, a cup of the washing soda. Oop, that's a big chunk, so we're going to just toss that in there. A half a cup, um, we just did a half a cup of washing soda. We're doing a fourth of a cup of salt. Um, it does require a half a cup, but we're doing a fourth. There's your salt. And then it says a cup of citric acid. Um, we are going to do a half a cup. Um, you can get citric acid inside of your canning section at your local Walmart. You can also get it on Amazon. Um, <coughs> I just inhaled it. And it's sour. Very sour. So make sure when you're doing this, you know, you keep your face away because it is powdery. So you don't want to inhale too much of it. Pour that in. I'm going to be sneezing the whole day. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we're doing um, 20 drops of essential oils, which I'm doing 10 of lime and 10 of orange. And we're just going to put those in there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten orange. Ten lime. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then you want to make sure you have a. Um, so you're going to make sure that you have your mixing utensil that you're going to use and make sure you have some water as well. So we're just going to go ahead and mix up all of our ingredients. And as you can tell, it's already um, a lot in there. Oops, and I just spilled some. Hashtag life. Again, you want to make sure that your face is away from it because of inhaling the powder, you're going to sneeze, you're going to cough because of the dust. So now that we, and it's not going to be completely, you know, clump free. I mean, you can make it completely clump, clump free, but when you add in the water, it's going to help it. So now we're going to just slowly add in our water because it is going to fizz up. So we're just going to add a little bit at a time. Just continue to mix until you get a paste. Um, it does not specify how much water to put in it. It just says to make a paste. So that's what we're going to do, is make a paste. So now that we have mixed it, as you can see, it does get fluffy. You want to just keep breaking that fluff down because it's the citric acid that is foaming. So once we have this perfect consistency of it, we are just going to simply take it. We're good to go. Put our thing in our sink. Um, you can use any of um, any kind of molding things that you want. We have these little round um, ice cube trays, and we're going to be doing two of those. And then I also have these molds that um, I've got. Um, and we're going to be doing that. So if you have any, and I'm warning everybody now, if you have any kind of cuts, if you have hangnails, 
Uh, paper cuts on your hands. Make sure you wear gloves because when the citric acid gets in it, it's going to hurt. It feels like it's hand sanitizer finding every little boo-boo you have on your hands. So I just take my hands. We'll start with our little round ones. And I just take it and I just push them down in, the, in one of the little holes. And I do that throughout the whole entire process. We're going to continue to do that. And then it's going to be the same thing with the other mold. Once we have all of our molds filled, what we want to do is either put them in the freezer um, to dry, or you can even put them um, inside of just, or just leave them outside um, on your, your countertop or whatever to dry. Um, we did a batch already, which I'm going to show you the final product um, of what both the small round molds look like and the cube trays um, look like and I will say that if you do do the um, freezer route it does take 24 hours for it to be solid however um, you have to leave them in the freezer because what we noticed today was when we took them out um, was that they get really soft um, and they'll start to crumble super easy. So they'll just have to stay in the freezer just to stay solid. But I'm sure we're going to test these ones out and leave them on our countertop um, and let it dry just to see what it's going to turn out to be like um, and if it works better. Um, and then we'll put that in the comments as well for future reference. Um, so now that that is done, we are going to show you what the future product looks like. So for our... Uh, round ones and we just did an airtight um, container the round ones we did in our mold they're this size and then for the uh, ice trays they are like this so they're they're kind of smaller they're the same roundness um, as these ones here um, but if you do these ones and they're smaller I just recommend that you do two of them um, because then they'll be the basically the same height. I mean, this ones are a little bit bigger, but you'll be fine. Um, and then we also do a vinegar rinse aid um, also inside of our dishwasher. So that is our DIY uh, dishwasher pods. If you like this and it was very informational and you got something out of it, make sure you like, subscribe, com leave your comments if you have any, um, and make sure you share with your friends and we'll see you here next time.